Welcome to day three of science. If you would like, please log into the link and watch Inspect an Insect for your little warm up. All right, so we have our next insect activity. Um, so in this one, you're just going to find the insects. So it's going to help you identify those insects by their attributes. Remember that all insects have a head, thorax, and abdomen. Some have antennas and all insects also have six legs. Okay, so here's our instructions. It says, here's our title, name the insects. And this says, find the insects. Draw a line from the name of the insect to the picture. Color the picture. So optional coloring there at the end there too. Okay, so we are going to start by looking at our words over here and we're also looking at our pictures. So we have a really good visual and we also have our words. So our first one is moth. Next is bee, fly, ant, butterfly, beetle, and ladybug. So what we wanna do is we wanna look at the physical attributes of each bug and just see what those are. So in this first one, you may not be able to tell what that is. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that and move on to this one. Now this one has stripes, it has a stinger at the end with some wings, some antennas. Um, so we are going to assume that that is a B because the B have the, has the yellow and black stripes. So we are going to find B over here. We are going to connect B with the B. Please follow along on the video or you can follow along with your day three science worksheet. So our word B matched up with B, the bug B. A B is an insect, that's important to remember. Okay, what is this one right here? Look at this one. What insect is that? I'm gonna give you a second. If you said butterfly, you are correct. It is a butterfly. So we are going to find the word butterfly. Let's look down our list. Butterfly starts with a b, b, b sound. Butterfly, that looks about right. So we are going to match butterfly with our butterfly. Y'all are doing a great job keeping up. Okay, let's move on down here. What does this bug look like? What does this one look like? If you said ant, you are correct. So we're gonna find the word ant and, and match up with our ant. Okay, we are moving on. So we may not be able to identify what that is just yet because it could also look like a butterfly maybe. So we'll keep on moving down here to this bug that has spots on it. It's usually red. What kind of bug do you think that is? If you said ladybug, you are correct. Ladybug starts with the ooh sound, ladybug, ooh. So we look down here for our L at the beginning. It's gonna be right here and we're going to match ladybug with the ladybug visual. I 
making sure y'all can see that word ladybug matching with the ladybug visual. I know the paper is kind of shiny right now. Okay, so our next one we are going to look at is this bug right here, and that is called a beetle. Don't really have to color that one because beetles are black most of the time. And so we are going to match beetle down to the beetle. I'm not sure if some can come off as the brownish color, so maybe you could color the beetle brown, but that's what we'll assume for right now. So we've got the word beetle and we matched it up with the picture beetle. Okay, up here we have a fly. Remember you can use a fly swatter for these guys. This is a fly and flies start with the f sound. So we're gonna look over here and look for the very beginning sound being the f sound. Fly matches with fly. And then we know that this is a moth. So moth is gonna be matched all the way down with the moth. Here we go. And that is our Name the Insects worksheet that you can follow along with. I'm gonna leave that up for just a second to give you guys time to get the fly and the moth. Okay, thank you so much for keeping up and listening and doing awesome. You guys are great. This is an additional page you can do with your child. This is called Which Are Insects? Uh, the directions say decide which pictures show insects. Color the insects, then cut them out and glue them onto the grid. Um, if you do not have access to any of these materials, that is perfectly fine. All you would have to do is circle your insects that you see down here instead of cutting them out and then your child can draw a picture in these boxes and um, you can also just circle it and identify the insects and so you can find the pictures that an insect is not and you can go is that an insect and your child could say yes or no or shake their head and then you could say is that an insect and they could say yes because a bee is an insect so this is just an extra page that you can do with your child to kind of engage that insect knowledge and see if they fully understand what an insect is. Thank you for joining me for my science lesson today.